What's going on everybody? It's LSU Maniac coming back at you for another little break. And today we got another new release. This was released last week along with Top's Finest. And what we got is 2021 Panini Absolute Baseball. And this is the second year in a row they've done this. I think they do it every year in basketball and football. But about two weeks ago, I actually done an uh, Absolute 2020 Absolute and hit a fantastic card. But something I want to note this year, if you read here, there's only two autographs and two memorabilia. Last year, there was actually four autographs. You got two. There's too many boxes in here. And you ended up getting two in each mini box. So they took two of the autos out. Now, the price did go down a little bit. I mean, I think I paid 165 for this, which is, I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, that's just the times of the hobby. But... They do have some nice stuff in here, and I'm going to tell you something. The case hits out of here sell very well. The Kaboom cards are called. But we'll look a little uh, bit around the box. Looks like Luis Robert on that. Unwrap hobby exclusive. Parallels, and I never understood the odds. It's not even really odds, to be honest with you. But yeah, that's it. Two little mini boxes. Like I said, this is the second year in a row. This was released last Friday, I believe. And I'm about to take my first look at it. Kind of disappointed, man, that they took two of the autos out. You know, I'm not really sure why they done that, but it is what it is. What you going to do about it? And it looks like they have kind of came down in price a little bit. I was looking around. If you search... I think I've seen them for about 150 so they're not too crazy expensive and Panini always does that to make up you know for the non licensing they always add more hits you always get more hits with Panini and before we get started guys I got to show y'all if y'all haven't noticed that new backdrop back here I was in a break the other day and it was a mixer break had some sterling in it and I have been having a dreadful, dreadful run of breaks. And just check this card out. Came out of Sterling. One of one Cal Ripken Jr. bat piece or nameplate. Just a fantastic. It actually says 2020. I thought this was 21 uh, Sterling. But I need to go back and watch a video. It actually might have been last year Sterling. But anyway, just super super nice card was so excited to finally get something nice and that'll be in the collection for some time all right let's turn our attention we got two little mini box one autograph and one mem per mini box don't know which one's better now last year they had some autos that had like a looked like a baseball basically but it was a fake you know, it wasn't a real baseball, but they look pretty cool. And, you know, you can get a lot of prospects in here. It's not just uh, major league players. you got a lot of prospects in here that you can hit. Now, one thing with the base set, and we do have two thick ones in here. I guess we can go ahead and get the other one out. But, yeah, one thing with the base set, there's not really rookies. You can't really get any rated rookies or rookie cards from the base set. Now, they do have subsets that will have some of the rookies, but not the base design. And we got two more thick ones in here, so it looks like we're going to have two Relic Autos, y'all. And here's a look at the base design this year. Nice Yadier Molina. You know, and I've always said it, Panini makes and prints some fantastic looking cards. Always has. You know, I would I would even go out on a limb and say they print better looking cards than tops. And for the most part, the QC is nice. There's a little write up on the back. Give you a look at the back. Santander. And we got our first flip of the break. Would love to pull one of those Kaboom cards. That'd be nice. There's a nice Yogi Berra. Kyle Lewis. Mr. Abreu. And I think you get one numbered card per box. And we got a Clayton Kershaw out of 149. And let's move these up to the front. 
And you can see we did get a rookie class, pretty much an insert, but that is Mr. Bobby Dahlbeck, not bad, and a Shane Bieber, statistically speaking. And we're going to flip this over and see what these autos are. One auto and one relic per mini box. And I see a Philadelphia on there. Man, that is a good sign. Can we have Mr. Alec Baum? It's going this way. It's not Alec Baum. And it is a guy that I have not heard of yet. Raphael Marcan or Mark. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm assuming that's Marcan. Not the Alec Baum. But hey, we'll take it, man. Maybe this guy will turn into a star. And our relic is Jason Dominguez. Check that out. Tools of the trade. Six-piece relic. Now that is very, very nice. Like I said, man, there's tons of prospects in here. Nice pinstripe. Not numbered, but that is a nice player, man. Nice. Jason Dominguez. I will take it. And let's take a look at this auto. And it is numbered. Number one off the line, Mr. Raphael Marcan, one of 30. And that's that baseball, kind of like a fake manufactured relic piece. But it is on card. That is nice because a lot of Panini stuff is sticker autos. All right, one more to go. I'm going to go ahead and move this to the front. <clears throat> Mr. Mike Yastrzemski, statistically speaking. And there he is, the number one prospect in the game, Mr. Wander Franco. Nice looking card there. Got like some paint splatter on it. Very nice looking cards, man. My boy Bregman, straight out of LSU. Michael Conforto, Buxton, and our last numbered card, or yeah, our parallel is going to be 33 of 199, Mr. Jin Ryu. And I'll tell you what, I can feel that thing on the back. We're going to get another little thing and see what this is, y'all. I'm going to come off the backs, actually, and see what this relic is first. It's backwards. And it is a big, big patch. Oakland, Jesus Lazardo. And that one there is out of 99. So a nice-looking patch, man. You don't see stuff like that in a regular set from Tops very often. Just wish they could get that licensing, man. It would be such, such nice cards. And here's our final auto, y'all. Looks like it's going this way. Can we get a big name? No. Going to be a pitcher, Mr. Dalton Jeffries, in the athletics organization. A sick-looking card. It is low number, 18 of 35. And that one there is a sticker. Not a ton of value there, but... Was a fun little rip. It's not going to break the bank too much. And you get a lot of hits, man. Lots of hits. So that is it, y'all. Not a very long rip. Probably my favorite card was the Jason Dominguez six piece relic, tools of the trade. So very nice, man. Like I said, they do have those case hits, the Kaboom cards that will sell very well. I was on eBay and they bring a very hefty penny with the right name. Well, guys, that's it. Thank y'all so much for the support. I look to hear y'all's in the comments what y'all think of this set. Did y'all buy any? Are y'all going to buy any? And I'm curious to see what everybody hit. If y'all don't mind, leave me a thumbs up, and I'll see y'all on the next one. LSU Maniac out of here.